What's up you guys? Paul checking in here with your fall 2023 Chicagoland housing market update. In this video, we're going to cover recent news headlines and what they mean for home buyers and home sellers. I'm going to touch on what's happening with home sales and home prices for Chicago and the suburbs, show you what's going on with mortgage rates, and stick around because I'm going to let you know when the best time historically has been to buy in the Chicagoland market. So just like fall, let's jump on in. All right, checking out home price insights from CoreLogic. On a national level, we can see Chicago is actually doing very well in the top 10 metro areas in terms of change. Now, this is a change both positive and negative. So we can see areas that did uh, perform very well during the COVID run-up uh, in the housing market are not doing so well right now. Look at Vegas, look at Phoenix, but areas like Miami are still outperforming up 9%. Chicago is up 4.2% though, and holding its own very high on a national national level, a normal market, whereas some areas are considered an overvalued market on this list. Home price forecasts by Fannie Mae. The U.S. housing market is headed for the largest sales slowdown since 2011. Now, they're forecasting a sales slump of only 4.8 million homes this year, which is the slowest sales since 2011. That's the amount of homes that are actually selling. They're not figuring much better for next year, saying only 4.9 million uh, homes are expected to sell in 2024. They're attributing much of the sales slump to high mortgage rates being over 7%. That means that prospective home buyers are facing the highest cost of borrowing since 2001, which has heavily hindered demand over the past year. They're expecting a recession to come in 2024, noting that people are spending more money than their wages are going up by. And they expect that even if the U.S. avoids a recession next year, that the housing market will likely struggle uh, in terms of sales for a long time until we see a pullback in mortgage interest rates. And with home prices being so high and interest rates continuing to climb, some newly engaged couples are asking their wedding registry to skip the mixer and the Roomba as wedding gifts and instead opting for cash to help them with their down payment. All right, so checking out home sales and home prices for the greater Chicago land area, we can see that the median sales price is up 9.6% uh, in August 2023 compared to the same, same month last year. And the inventory of homes for sale, the amount of homes in the market uh, is down 34%. Days in the market is flat compared to last year, but we see that there's 15.1% less homes selling. Uh, looking at the terms of the, the property type, uh, condo prices are up 13.4%, while the more expensive single family home prices are up 6.5%. Dialing down to the city of Chicago area. Now, the city, not so well compared to the uh, greater Chicagoland area. Prices are up only 4.8%, with a median sales price of $330,000 compared to $315,000 last year. The inventory of homes for sale is down 30.9%, and homes are selling one day faster, with the uh, days in the market at 27 days compared to 28 days last year. Close sales in the city of Chicago are down 7% compared to the same month last year. Uh, you can also see what's going on year to date. Now, condo prices are up 9.1% in the city of Chicago, whereas single family home prices are up only 1.6%. So we can see that the condos are outperforming for the city of Chicago. All right, so we see what the market's done up to this point. What's the forecast look like for the rest of the year? So let's check that out. Looking at the uh, home price forecasts, this was just released uh, by the UIC Stewart Handler Department of Real Estate for the Illinois Realtors. And we can see the greater Chicago land area forecast here in the red, the red dots compared to the same years and months for 2022 and 2021. We can see home prices are forecast to continue uh, being up year over year. Uh, if you remember last year, uh, the tail end of the year, really the market did take a dip. Uh, we did feel quite the bit of a slowdown. We weren't sure what was gonna happen, whether prices are gonna continue going up or pulling back. Looking at the annual uh, percent change on the median price, we can see that the forecast for the Chicago land area is uh, forecasted to be up 8.8% for September, 9.6% for October, and 10.7% for November. That is the price compared to the price uh, same month last year. Um, so overall, 8 to 10% increase compared to uh, what we were feeling last year. 
And finally, we're gonna cover what's going on with mortgage interest rates. And as I promised earlier, when the best time historically is to buy in the Chicago land market. But before we do that, are you enjoying me making these videos? If so, can you hit that thumbs up button right there? Um, it takes several hours to put together the data in a video like this. So if you're finding these helpful, please do let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel and want to be notified when the latest videos get released, like my 2023 Chicagoland housing market predictions, we're going to be reviewing that video I made almost a year ago and seeing whether I was right on that or not, along with what my expectations are for the Chicagoland market in 2024. You're definitely not going to want to miss that video, so please make sure you do hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to be notified as soon as I release the video. Diving into mortgage interest rates, last fall we saw mortgage rates cross the 7% mark for the first time in a very, very long time. And then we saw rates pull back a little bit through 2023. Now, just like we did a year ago, we're seeing rates over that 7% mark for over five weeks now straight. And we're seeing rates push higher with some lenders quoting rates in the mid sevens for the most qualified buyers on a 30 year fixed rate mortgage. And finally, historically, when is the best time to buy a place in the Chicago land market? Well, looking at the historical median sales price, we see the natural seasonality that our market feels where home prices tend to peak in the late spring, early summer, and then pull back through the year uh, with prices hitting their lowest marks right at the end of the year. So the fall market tends to bring overall better prices uh, compared to much of the year. And if we look at closed sales right around the December to January mark, we see that that's when the buyers were able to get the best prices. And those buyers likely got those homes under contract 30 to 45 days before they closed, meaning November, December is likely going to be your best time to get the best deal on a home in the Chicago land market. Looking at it from a different perspective here, this is the weekly market snapshot in terms of the amount of showings compared to the beginning of the year. And we can see that showing activity on listings heavily declines towards the end of the year and is half as much as would be at the beginning of the year. The market tends to pick up out of the gates in January, but after Halloween, the showing activity, the amount of people going out to look at homes tends to decrease the most. So after Halloween and before the new year is likely going to be when you can get the best deal. Um, you know, inventory does tend to be a little lower at that time, but looking at this overall activity is lowest the day after Christmas and then picks back up a little bit in the final week of December and then out the gates activity picks up at the beginning of the year. I'm guessing people's New Year's resolutions kick in uh, and they know their leases are going to be uh, coming up due. So we see activity pick up right at the beginning of the year when the holidays are over uh, and then really uh, pick up steam through the year uh, into spring, summer, um, as you can see here. So let me know what you thought of that in the comments section below. And if you're considering making a move in the Chicago land area, you're definitely going to want to check out this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.